How's it going guys? Welcome back to another how-to video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can control your front loaders and forestry equipment with your joystick in Farming Simulator 22. So before we get into it, please, please, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and that like button on this video. Because even though I try and keep these videos as short as I possibly can, they actually do take a very long time to make. So I'd really appreciate it if you could do that for me. But with that said, let's get straight into it. So the first thing we are going to do is set up the steering wheel. So in my case, I'm using a G29 wheel. If you are using a different wheel, that's absolutely fine. The same principle applies. The software might just look a little bit different. So here you can adjust everything to your own personal preference. Things like operating range, sensitivity, and then centering spring strength. So I leave all of this at default. And then centering spring strength, I leave at zero. Sometimes I'll put it up to five. I just like a very light wheel when I'm farming. Again, this is personal preference, so set it to whatever you're comfortable with. And then make sure that centering spring in non-force feedback games is turned on. Over at pedal sensitivity, again, I leave this at default. This is personal preference. And then just make sure that combined pedals is turned off. So the next thing you want to do is open up your game, head over to options and click on the controls button on the left hand side and then switch over to gamepad controls. So this is where we are going to map everything that we want on our steering wheel. Things like accelerate, brake and steering. So to map that just click on accelerate, hit your accelerator and that'll map it. So I'm going to run through here real quick. You can pause the video if you want to see what I have mapped to my steering wheel. This is my H shifter. So I have two functions mapped to H shifter. So if you have one of those, uh, you can use that. It's actually pretty handy. And then there's just a few other things like gear shifts and GPS controls as well. So when you have all of your buttons mapped, the next thing you want to do, and this is a very important step, is head over to this left hand side menu and click on this little button over here and then make sure that you are working with your steering wheel so we're going to switch the device and then all of these little bars here are your dead zone bars so this is your steering your accelerate your brake and your clutch so these are going to be at 14 percent at default so basically what the dead zone means is if you are in game and you're driving a piece of equipment you have to turn your steering wheel a lot before the piece of equipment actually starts turning in game. It's very frustrating, so you want to drop this down as low as possible or wherever you feel comfortable. I keep it at 1%, sometimes 2%. I would recommend not going to 0% because especially on your pedals, your equipment might start driving on its own. So the next thing you want to do after that is head over to the general settings tab and here you can go to force feedback and turn on force feedback and play around with that and figure out what works for you. I like to have my force feedback off but again this is a personal preference thing you can play around with it and figure out what you like. So that is basically it in terms of the wheel settings so now we are going to get into the joystick side of things. And there's two ways that we can do this and I'm going to show you both methods and you can decide which one works best for you. So the first method to get your joystick to work in Farming Simulator 22 is to map everything manually. So to do this, you're going to go over to your controls tab and then go to keypad controls and then scroll down until you find vehicle front loader. So here you're going to map everything that corresponds with this list over here. So raise front loader arm, I pull back on the joystick for that and that'll automatically map the lower as well. Extend front loader arm. So this is basically when you have something like a telehandler that can extend outwards. I use my hat switch to the right for that and then to contract it back is hat switch to the left. Raise front loader tool. So I pull my hat switch down for that and then lower front loader tool is hat switch up for that. And then open and close. I just use a button for that. And this is for opening and closing things like a log form. From here, we are going to scroll down and find crane. So this is very similar to the front loader options, just with a few added options. So rotate crane right and left. I push my joystick to the right and that'll map left as well. And then raise crane arm. This is the same as the front loader. So I pull back on my joystick and that will map both of those and then raise crane arm too this is for the secondary bit on the crane arm so to raise it i pull my hat switch down and then to lower it i push my hat switch up and then to extend crane arm same as the front loader is hat switch to the right and then to retract is hat switch to the left to open the tools is again the same as the front loader so i use two buttons for that and then to rotate 
the crane tool my joystick has a your function so i use that again you can map anything to this that you want it's all personal preference so find what works for you and map it accordingly so that is the basics of setting up your joystick if you are mapping everything manually. So yes, there are other things here that you can map as well. Things like your crane support legs and even raising and lowering your reels for your combines and things like that. So I'm just showing you the bare basics here and what I would normally use. And setups differ and people differ. So I would highly recommend playing around with this and figuring out what works for you and your setup and what is comfortable and natural to you. So the second method to get your joystick to work in Farming Simulator 22 is to use a keyboard emulator. So there's a few of these available, there's some paid ones, there's some free ones. I like to use joy to key so I've used a few of them and joy to key in my opinion is the best one out there. It is a paid software, it's about $7 to buy if I'm not mistaken. And I have to say that I'm not affiliated or associated with them at all, it really is just a good product at a good price. So basically what a keyboard emulator does is it takes an input from your joystick and converts that into a button press on your keyboard. So to do that, this first line over here is joystick left. So we know that because if I move my joystick left, that is the line that highlights. So we're going to double click on that. And here you put in basically the key that you want associated with that movement. So in this case, it is going to be M. We're going to hit OK on that and that is mapped. So all of the mappings that I have in here is for default keyboard controls on Farming Simulator 22. So this would be a very good base point for you to start if you choose to use this method. So we're going to run through it real quick. The movements that I have mapped is joystick left, right, up and down. Then we have your left, your right and then hat switch up, right, down and left. So you'll see that some of these have multiple inputs. So to do that is very simple. You just go into it and you have different blocks here. So the first one you'll hit shift, the second one you'll hit control, and the next one you'll hit whatever button you want associated with that. In this case, it's N, click OK, and as simple as that. So now if you have that movement on your joystick, which in this case is your left, it'll hit shift, control, and N simultaneously in game to give you the movement that you're looking for. So what is the pros and cons between using a keyboard emulator and mapping in game? So the pros of a keyboard emulator is it's a lot more simple and straightforward. So you basically map this and it just works. The drawback is when you want different things happening between let's say a crane and a front loader, you have to have different profiles like I have here. So the only difference I have is my hat switch up and down does a different thing in a front loader than what it does in cranes, which I named forestry. And the problem with that is while I'm in game and I'm switching in between equipment, I have to tab out and change profile every time. So that is a big drawback. But in terms of simplicity sake, you could definitely just have one profile and just run that and you'll be good to go. So again, it's a personal thing. So that to me is a drawback having to switch between profiles. The drawback of mapping in game is it is a bit more complicated. It is a lot more time consuming, but I think in the end, when you get it right, it is going to be so much better. So that is how you get your joystick to work in Farming Simulator 22. So like I said, I think it's worth spending a bit of extra time and just getting everything mapped properly in game. But I wanted to throw in the alternative solution there as well for someone that might just be looking for a quick and easy, simple solution. Um, it is a good method to use a keyboard emulator. I've been using it for many, many years, but I'm going to try and move off of that and just map in game because it just seems like in the long run, that is the better solution. So we're going to leave it there for today, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I really do appreciate it and it helps me out a lot. And it helps me to continue making more of these videos for you guys. But that's going to be it. Have a good one and I'll see you all next time.